Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm Jessica with Compass and Crows and I've got another junk journal flip through for you today. Uh, this one is kind of a Halloween themed one. It's a grimoire, as you can see by the book plate on the front, but it's sort of a witchy botanical themed junk journal. Uh, this journal I've done the cover in that faux uh, paper leather, which I've used before. Um, and I have a raised part on the cover that's got these uh, places in the front for these little glass vials with some things added to them. Uh, this book is five and three quarter by eight and three quarter inches, and it's a big one, 132 pages in this one, uh, three signatures. Nice and chunky. All right, so let's open it up. So inside, in the front cover here, uh, these I will link, as always, below the printables that I've used to make this junk journal. Um, and I have a lot of these cards in it, which are these, um, uh, they're like herb cards, garden cards. Uh, I just felt like they fit in perfectly with the other package of printables that I purchased for this. So I will link them below. So this little tuck spot in the front here has just got two uh, little miniature journaling tag and uh, another little journaling tag there. Uh, some blank uh, coffee dyed journaling paper there with this. I hand dyed uh, all the lace that's in, in this book too. So some more of those herbal cards and they have, some of them have printing on the back of them. They're not blank on the back of them. So it's kind of neat places for you to fill some stuff out on the back. There is lots of journaling space in this book though, as usual with mine, another journaling tag. This is some jelly print paper. I've done a bunch of jelly printing for this book and I did this with some leaves and uh, some plants that I found outside in my yard. And that, that jelly print was done on a piece of paper, a piece of paper, book paper from an old calculus book. Then in this tuck spot here, another one of those journaling cards, that little miniature label, and this is some pressed, a pressed leaf and some pressed flower, a pressed flower in a little specimen card. More hand dyed paper. This hand dyed paper, some of the darker stuff, it you can write on it if you use those gel pens. They work really well on it. Some more of that jelly print paper. Some, some paper from the paper pack, the digital paper some more journaling cards and tags in that tuck spot there. This belly band has a journaling card as well as a full sheet of coffee dyed paper for journaling. Some more journaling space, some more here, just this little side tag there. This is a piece of vellum that I have printed some, a book page from a Fatal Plants book. And another one of those journaling cards and there's a little feather charm attached to that paper clip. This one's just paper clipped on. Some more journaling space, some more hand dyed paper. And this little envelope here has um, a journaling tag and a couple of those little journaling labels. Some more of that paper from that paper pack. I love this paper pack. Uh, this little mini belly band has got a journaling card and a journaling tag in it. They're both blank. Some more journaling space. Another journaling card and journaling tag there. More paper there. That's the first signature. This is the second signature. Some jelly print paper, hand dyed paper. This envelope here has got a couple of journaling cards in it 
and there is a little tuck spot right there that you could put something else in. Some coffee dyed paper. Here's some more of that hand dyed lace that I did. Some journaling cards and little journaling labels. Another tuck spot here with a journaling card and a journaling tag. This little envelope here flips to the side and inside is a full sheet of coffee dyed paper for journaling. And then on the other side is a little tuck spot with a couple of those journaling labels. And here, two more of those journaling cards. Some more pages from that book. Another jelly print and a belly band here with a journaling tag and two more of the herbal cards. Some more journaling space. This is another little tuck spot here with one of the journaling cards and another little specimen card with a flower and a clover inside of it. A belly band here with some journaling cards there. Nice big one. This page has got a tag on it and two journaling cards in that tuck spot there. More journaling space and here is a journaling card and one of the journaling labels and some more of that hand dyed lace there. I really love this owl one too from that print pack. I tried to dye some paper that matched it as that color as closely as possible. Some more journaling space, this little miniature Paper clip here has got a little bird charm on it. It's more of that be beautiful paper. I love this paper pack. It's absolutely beautiful. I will link that below if you're interested in looking at it. Uh, journaling card, tag, and a label. Uh, some black lace there. This little tuck spot here has got some journaling cards in it. And another little miniature journaling label, some more jelly print, another tuck spot with lots more journaling cards, and that one's upside down, more hand dyed paper, some more of those herb cards, more journaling space, another tuck spot here, and here, more book page from that book and this has got two of those herbal cards and a little journaling card in it and this is another little tuck spot here with a little label another tuck spot lots of tuck spots in this one uh, journaling page coffee dyed some more from that paper pack this little tuck spot's got some more journaling cards there this paper clip here holds that little journaling card and the little Charm on it is a leaf. Some little journaling labels in this little envelope here. More journaling cards. More hand dyed paper. And that is the last page. And that's the end of the book. Thank you very much for watching. The link for this, uh, for my Etsy shop where this will be listed will be below as well. Thank you very much.